She has a bachelor's degree in communication arts major in journalism at Bicol University in Legazpi City with Latin honors and graduated cum laude. In 2017 naman, she completed her master's degree in community development from UP Diliman. And in July 2021, she graduated from Oxford Center for Christian Apologetics in Oxford, England. Pero siguro maaalala nyo siya Noong 2010, when she was asked the Miss Universe question, What is one big mistake that you've made in your life? She answered, in her 22 years of existence, she has not done any major, major mistakes yet in her life. And now, we will ask her again if there's anything major, major na napagdaanan niya and nakakommit na ba siya ng mistakes in her 30-something years of experience. We have Venus Hura. Hi, oh, Venus. Hi, thank you. No, thank you for having me. Really appreciate this. Alam mo, grabe yung major, major 2010. Parang yun ang naging favorite expression ng lahat. Oo. Oh, oh. Noong una, naiinis ako pag naririnig ko yun. Hindi <laughs> nga. Oo. Oh, oh. Bakit? Kasi parang, parang siya, hindi ko alam kung it was just an expression oh. or hindi ko alam kung kinukot siya ba ako because... I fumbled on that Q&A. Uh -oh. So parang feeling ko, oh, grabe naman sila po ulit-ulit. Mga <laughs> Did you think at that time na yung sagot mo was a mistake? Or parang mali yung naging sagot mo? I was in denial, of course. I, um, I watched some of my uh, interviews right after the pageant. Uh -huh. Tapos parang sinasabi ko, doon sa interview na, hindi, wala akong babaguhin sa sinabi ko kasi yun talaga yung sa heart ko. <laughs> Pero oh. ano, girl, ano ka ba? Mayus <laughs> ka nga. Feeling ko hindi ko siya na-communicate in a, in a manner that, you know, I, I really want to communicate to people. Kasi, and English is not our, our first, first language. language. Oh, oh. So may translation pang nangyayari <laughs> sa utak ko. Now, in your 30 plus experience, yeah. are you comfortable to say your age now? You are. Oh yeah, I'm 33. See, 33. <laughs> She's 33. So in your 33 years of experience, if I were to ask you again, yeah, what's a major, major mistake that you have done in your life? I think the thought that relationships would be the ultimate ultimate when it comes to like having a relationship with 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 a man and um compromising my purity because that's something na parang hindi ko na mababalikan yun eh yung mga moments na ganun eh na feeling mo that's the best thing that you can give uh, to someone you know, that you're in a relationship with so for you right now ano yung pinakamagandang regalo pwede mo maibigay sa partner mo Aside from, you know, yourself. Yeah, such a difficult question, Tony. Um, I think now it would be honoring and respecting the person that I'm in a relationship with. Are you in a relationship with? No. Ah, single. Um, For how long? Seven years. Hindi <laughs> na! Seven years? Kasi naalala ko nakita pa tayo oh, sa Laguna. Oh, oh. Saan tayo nakikita? Saan tayo yung boyfriend mo pa na at that time. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Pero balikan muna natin kasi we're talking about yung mga past, like yung major, major experiences yeah. in your life. You were born in Doha, Qatar. Oh. Tapos your father is an Indian. Yes. Your mother brought you to the Philippines when you were just months old because they separated ng father. Mo. Yeah. So you grew up never really knowing who your father is. Mm -hmm. Nakita mo ba yung picture niya? Nakita ko yung picture. Kaso naka-shades. <laughs> so, so yun lang ang picture na nakita mo? Yun lang talaga yung picture. So in my mind, nandiyan pa rin yung picture na naka-shades siya ng malaking malaki. Tapos naka-lean siya na ganun sa isang TV. Tapos may staircase pa akyat na ganyan. So, yun lang ang picture mo ng daddy mo? Mm -mm. So growing up, walang father figure? I had a stepfather. Mm. Pero alam mo yung alam mo kasi na hindi mo siya tatay. Mm -hmm. Alam mo yon. Iba yung balita. Feeling ko iba, yun. iba pa rin talaga kung alam mo na yung yung kasama. same dugo. <laughs> oo, oo. Uh, Tsaka, but... iba yung treatment, iba pa rin. Uh -huh. Although I my my stepfather is is a good man, pero alam ko iba eh. May may kulang, may feeling mo there's a part of you na. Mm. There's a hole yeah. that cannot be filled. Yeah. Yeah. So when you were growing up, paano ka nag-cope doon sa void na yun? Ayun. Boyfriend. Ah, Ilan yeah. taong ka una nagka-boyfriend? 16. 16. 16. I was in high school. Tapos mga usually older. 
Ilang years ang pagdasay ng mga oh, boyfriend mo? Like the very first one, I was eight. I was sixteen. The guy was like twenty-eight. Twenty-eight? Oh, oh. Hmm. So mga. So ano dynamics ng relationship niyo nun? From sixteen tapos twenty-eight years old. Wala pa akong kaalam-alam sa buhay nun, Tony. Para lang ako ano sunod lang ganyan. Kung ano sa sabihin, masabi lang na. You know, you are in a relationship. I don't know kung ano ibig sabihin ng toxic relationship. Hindi ko alam kung paano ba yung dynamics dapat, am I to submit, um, ano, paano ba dapat, no idea at all. I was introduced to things that I shouldn't be introduced. Um, first sexual experience. Um, and I thought, ah, siguro ganito talaga. Ganito Ito talaga. yung love. Ito siguro yung love. Ito talaga. Kasi usually ganun naman, ganun eh, dapat binibigay mo yung sarili mo ng buong buo dun sa tao. Ah. It ended after two years, I think, or a year and a half. Kasi, um, yeah, he he got another lady pregnant. Di ba every failed relationships, may natututunan ka? Totoo yun. Meron. Meron at meron. At that time, hindi ko alam that there was a boy. Um, I know, now I can, I can, Name that as a void when I was younger. Pero nung nandun ako, hindi ko naman alam na it was called like a void, na may kulang, na may ganito. Parang pakiramdam ko lang, gusto kong may kasama sa buhay. Parang companionship. Companionship. Uh, parang security. Validation from validation, someone. Validation. Acceptance. Acceptance. Provision. Belonging. Yes. You belong to someone. Yes. Tapos sumali ka sa beauty pageant. Paano? Sa inyo, di ba? So, Local muna. Sa, sa ano, grade 5. Uh, very first pageant. Mm -hmm. um, sabi ng teacher ko, uh, walang representative yung class. Sige, mm -hmm. ikaw na. Ganon. So, mm -hmm. ako, oh, sige po. Ganyan. Eh, yung ate ko, puma pageant-pageant. So, parang confident ako na may magtuturo sa akin. Mm -hmm. Kasi ate ko, high school na by that time. Nag-ano siya, may sumasali siya ng mga beauty pageant. So, ako yung sinama, Miss United Nation ata, o linggo ng wika, o basta mga ganyan. Mm -hmm. ganyan, mga ganyan. Tapos, uh, ano na to? This is my PA Awards back moment. Um, oh. So coronation na si inannounce the first runner up ganyan. So inannounce siya na first runner up. Tapos inannounce ako ng winner. Tapos umakyat yung principal namin sa stage. So <laughs> yung principal, ay ay yung mali, mali mali yung result, mali yung result. Was <laughs> ay kinuha yung bulaklak kasi binigay dun sa grade 6. Ano nararamdaman mo nung binawi <laughs> sa iyo? Ay. Okay lang. Kumiya <laughs> ka hindi. Parang wala wala pa yung spirit of like competition or wala wala pang ganun basta na represent ko lang yung class ko okay na tayo doon i think na introduce lang sa akin yung idea ng beauty pageant nung i think 1994 so shmita sen won mm. she was indian so malaking balita sa pilipinas mm. i think dito yun ginanap sa pilipinas doon na introduce yung idea ng beauty pageant pero hindi ko siya naging dream na parang ah one day gusto kong maging beauty queen um up until college mm. nung college na parang Ah, okay pala to. Karirin ko kaya to. So, doon na nag-start na parang, ah, okay. Sumasali na kami ng mga beauty pageants sa community, um, provincial, national. So, doon na nag-start na, okay. Pwede pala, pwede pala ako dito. Yung mga napapanalunan ko, tapos scholar din ako sa university. So, parang iniipon-ipon ko sila. Tapos either bibigay kay mama, or so may, may, may natatabi ako kahit pa paano. Hanggang sa kinarir mo na yung pagiging beauty queen, hindi yes. ba? Nakarating ka sa Miss Universe yes. Philippines. Yes. Ikaw naging pambato. Yes. Pero at that time, nagkaroon ng controversy, di ba? Dahil yes. kinawestion yung birth certificate mo. Yes. Kung Pilipino ka ba talaga. Yeah. Um, ano yun? Malaking bagay yun. Kasi, hindi ko talaga expect na magkakaroon ng problema dun. The day after the coronation night, biglang, it dawned on them na, wait lang, parang hindi ka ata pwede mag-compete dun sa napanalunan mo. Parang ganun. So they revisited my papers and then uh, lawyers, mga ganyan. Maraming usap-usap ng mga mga lawyers. Alam mo, mga kwento mo yan. Parang inisip ko yung nangyari sa'yo nung nine years old ka. Kinawestion din yung pagkapanalo mo. Ay! Oo oh nga! Tapos binawi rin sa'yo. Oo oh nga. Parang twice na nangyari sa'yo yun. Yung oh nine ka. Yeah. Tapos nung nanalo ka, binabawi na naman nila sa'yo. Oo oh nga, no? Hindi ko na-realize yun. But yeah, that happened twice. So paano mo hinandal yun? Na parang binabawi na naman yung naku na panalunan mo. Doon mahirap. Kasi pangarap ko na eh. Gusto ko nang mag-compete sa, sa Miss Universe. Parang hindi na yung puso ko yung okay lang, bigay mo na sa iba. Hindi na ganun. 
parang I know that I didn't do anything wrong and I know that why I was honest from the beginning. So, yung feeling na parang teka, parang wala akong ginawang masama, wala akong ginawang mali, bakit binabawi sa akin bakit yung pinagtrabahuhan ko? Parang ganoon, parang oh. ganoon. So, yun, lumaban tayo. Dumating sa punto na parang okay, wala akong pera, anong gagawin ko? How can I actually fight for what I think is right? Pero wala akong resources to do that. I think the Lord has been so faithful even in those times. Hanggang umabot sa point na nakarating na tong balita na to sa Miss Universe Organization. And the Miss Universe Organization called my lawyers. Sila na yung nag-uusap. Ang naging requirement lang nila, basta may passport siya. Basta may passport siya. Pero kung may Philippine passport ka, ibig sabihin, recognize ka by the Philippine government. Eh, hindi Pilipina pa. ka. Oo. Oh, oh. Pilipina naman talaga ako. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so yun. Um... Doon nag-start na parang, okay, matutuloy tong Miss Universe na to. At kung matutuloy to ibig sabihin may rason bakit matutuloy to. Masagot mo na yung rason bakit siya natuloy. Yeah. Dahil? Dahil darating ang panahon na makikilala ko ang Panginoon pagkatapos ng Miss Universe. Same year, very same year after the competition. Darating ang panahon na gagamitin ng Panginoon ang platform na yan. Hindi para sa akin, pero para sa kaluwalhatian ng pangalan niya. So at that time, hindi ko siya maintindihan. Parang bakit kailangan ko pang pagdaanan yung mga zigzag na yan para lang makarating sa Miss Universe? Or bakit, bakit hindi title? Bakit fourth runner-up? Bakit hindi yung talagang main uh, crown ang ibinigay? Bakit fourth runner-up? Ah, uh, okay. Para bumalik ako ng Pilipinas. At pagbalik ko ng Pilipinas, in that very same year, that was the time that Everything just made sense. That, ano yeah. yung nag-make sense? Na may purpose pala yung buhay ko. Naakala ko dati, pagka gumawa ka ng, okay, gawin mo to, tapusin mo yan, gawin mo to, tapos next, gawin mo to, next, parang ganon. Pero parang, ah, may rason pala bakit niya ako pinapanalo. May purpose pala kung para saan to. Kailan nag-start yun? Or paano mo na-realize yun na? kailangan ko makilala kung sino si God sa buhay ko. Mm. Anong nangyari? Anong incident? So, there was this uh, time. Pagbalik ko, syempre kilala na ako ng mga Pilipino, mga tao, oh. mga ganon. Dati hindi naman, wala naman nakakakilala. And it so happened na meron pala akong pinsan na hindi ko naman nakakilala tong pinsan ko na to. Kilala ko yung nanay niya. Mm. Ang tawag ko sa nanay niya ay nanay din. Mm. So, si nanay, may anak pala si nanay na ang pangalan ay Coach Rio. De La Cruz. Hanggang sa siya ang nagdala sa akin sa church. Siya ang nagpakilala sa akin sa mga misyonaryo na nagpakilala sa akin sa church. At doon ko nakilala ang Panginoon. Nung una kang pumunta sa church, naalala mo pa ba yung message na? Naalala ko. Pero naalala ko yung kanta na talagang hinagulgulan ko. Ano kanta? Amazing Grace. Ni, hindi ko nga alam yung kanta yun. Favorite queen. Saan kang part umiyak sa Amazing Grace? I was once lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Yung ka naiyak? Having Bakit ka naiyak doon? Kasi... Kasi parang nag-flashback sa akin lahat ng ginawa ko sa buhay ko. Lahat nag-flashback siya na nakita ko na, shucks, maling-mali pala yung lifestyle ko. Bulag pala ako. Pero mula nung nandun sa moment na yun, alam mo yung pakiramdam na parang, o oh, anak bulag ka. Pero tinatanggal ko yung scale na nasa mata mo. I was once lost and now I'm found. At tagal ko nang hinahanap ang tatay ko, hindi ko mahanap. Mm. Pero yung ako ang nahanap niya, ang sarap nun sa pakiramdam. Parang na-realize mo, he's always been the father that you needed. Yes. Na hindi mo alam, he's always been there for yes. you. Yes. So after mong marinig yung kanta na Amazing Grace, what changed for you that day? Alam mo yung pakiramdam na parang, ang dumi mo, pero halika dito, <laughs> yayahapin kita. Kahit ang dumi-dumi mo, halika dito, yayahapin kita. Ganun kita kamahal. So, <sighs> you found the love yeah, that found you were it. looking for yeah. from your father, from yeah. the relationships. Yeah, yeah. from people affirmation, pageant fans, ba- validation, lahat, lahat na. Parang, shucks, ito pala yun. Ito pala yun. Parang he gave you the real crown in yeah. life. Yeah. 
Pero siguro sa ngayon, ang laging tumatatak sa isip ko is sa uh, Galatians 2.20. Ang sabi doon, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life that I now live in the flesh, I live in the Son of God who loves me and gave himself up for me. Na parang, ha? Sino ba ako? Bakit mo ibibigay ang buhay mo para sa akin? Wala, wala ako. Pero namatay ka para sa akin? Ganun mo ako kamahan? Ano sa tingin mo yung nawala sa'yo dito sa bagong Venus Ra? Wala na siya sa industry? O oh, wala na siyang... Ganong kalahing trabaho, oh, hindi na siya masyadong nakikita. Nasaan na siya ngayon? Ano nang ginagawa Wala na niya? Career. Wala na siyang career. I think um, for, for people who are probably observing me or my life, baka ganun ang umiikot sa isip nila. Pero sa totoo lang, kung ikukumpara ko siguro yung buhay na meron ako noon at ang buhay na meron ako ngayon, wala man ako yung, yung kung anong... Siguro resources that I was enjoying um, during those years. Pero yung assurance, yung makakatulog ka sa gabi, na yakap-yakap ka ng tatay mo, ng Panginoon mo, na everything is provided for, that He promises that you have, you will have a good future, na hindi ka niya iiwan, na hindi ka niya pababayaan, na bilang anak, tawagin kang anak ng, ng, ng king of kings. No? Parang, oh, meron pa bang kulang? Meron pa bang wala sa buhay ko ngayon? More than enough. Yeah. I think what you really found in your life right now, as I'm listening to you and looking at you, mm-hmm. you found peace. Yeah. It's a peace that surpasses all understanding. Yeah. They don't have to understand yeah. what you have right now. But there is peace in your heart yeah. that you know no matter what happens, mm. someone is watching out for you, yes. taking care of you, and yes. pinaka importante, loving you. Yes. Yun lang naman ang hinahanap nating lahat. Yeah. 